Growing up, the only person who ever noticed me was my big sister Akari. My mom traveled for work so much that I even called Akari mom when I was too little to understand what was going on. My sister would take me to school where I would sit in silence and never say a word to anyone until she picked me up again. And then I wouldn't shut up the whole way home. But she didn't mind. She liked hearing me talk and she liked playing games with me, like making me look like one of her dolls. She would also give me a makeover using our mom's makeup or dress me up as a monster and have me chase her around the house. Rawr, I'm gonna eat your head. My head? Yeah, it's the yummiest part. You really are a little monster. Rawr. When we got older, our mom moved to another country for work. She asked if we wanted to come, but we decided to stay. Akari had graduated from university and had a real job now, so we didn't have much time to hang out. But every Friday, I would wait for her at the train station near my school for when she got out of work, and we would hang out all weekend. And even though we grew up, nothing really changed, except now we didn't play dress up anymore. Now we dressed up for real to go out to dinner or the arcade or whatever we wanted. We had the best life. The only problem was, I was still too shy to talk to anyone, especially boys. One time when we were at the arcade, I saw a boy staring at us. Akari elbowed me. He's looking at you, Nozomi. Go talk to him. My cheeks got so red, my hands all clammy. I suddenly froze up and couldn't even play the games anymore. Okay, okay, let's go home. You don't have to talk to any boys. But you know, it would make me really happy if you tried, at least once, for me. Maybe you can talk to a boy for me. Then I won't have to do any work. She gave me a dirty look, but she was only kidding. I knew she was right. I just had no idea how I would ever talk to a boy. Then one Friday, the train that was supposed to arrive didn't come, and suddenly I got a really bad feeling. After 30 minutes, the train finally came, but Akari wasn't on it. I called and called, but she didn't answer. Then finally, I got a call, but it was from a random number. Hello? Is this Akari's sister, Nozomi? This is the hospital. Your sister was in an accident. She's in a coma. All the air left my lungs. In the hospital, I found her lying there with her head bandaged. She looked like she was sleeping. They didn't know how, but she fell onto the tracks and hit her head. The doctor said it was impossible to know when she would wake up. From that day on, I started visiting her every day. I usually read to her, but one day I forgot my book, so I just talked. And when I left, I ran into the nurse in the hallway. If you have time, maybe you can talk to him too. He's in a coma like your sister. I think he was part of the accident she was involved with. He was? I think so. But we don't know who he is. He didn't have any ID when he was brought in. He had no one to visit him? I felt so sad. I imagined my sister being here all alone, with no one to talk to her all day. Before I knew it, I was in his room. He looked a couple of years older than me. I sat down beside his bed and without even realizing it, I was just talking to him just like I talked to Akari.